sensory evoked potential studies allows us the opportunity of being able to study the flow of signal along a range of modalities, be they sensory, auditory or visual, all the way up through the spinal cord, brain stem and to where they are being processed by the brain itself. And we do this through a variety of means, whether it's stimulation of the hand or the foot for the somatosensory uh, pathways, whether it's clicks using headphones for our auditory pathways, or whether it's visual using the flash or pattern uh, checkerboards. And these can be very helpful for identifying MS, for example, in our neurology patients, it can be very useful for our neurosurgical patients looking for evidence of myelopathy or radiculopathies, and it can also be very helpful for our out of hospital cardiac arrest patients looking at prognosis by assessing brainstem function.